So the owner of WTO actually came up with this idea of a Bluetooth holder that was able to monitor uh, the actual RPM at the spindle, vibration levels, um, and temperature of the housing. Makes it a lot more efficient for uh, companies that are doing larger production runs to be able to tell when to take that holder in and out of service. All right, hey guys, here in uh, DMG Mori, Hoffman Estates, with uh, my buddy Luis Butler. How's it going? <laughs> You're going good, man. Happy to be here. So we're in a beautiful building. Uh, Luis supports a lot of these trade shows, right? I do, yes. Uh, so I am the OEM account manager um, for WTO, primarily focusing on machine tool OEMs. Sweet, so we got the expert, huh? <laughs> you do, you do. <laughs> so uh, your skiving unit, that's on display here at DMG Mori, right? It is, correct. So we have it there on the uh, NLX 2500, and we're going to be, you know, showcasing the tool holder throughout the week. Oh, okay, sweet! And those skiving units with the technology cycle that DMG Mori offers, you can do OD splines and ID splines, correct? What's that, the benefit there? That is correct. So you can do OD, um, ID splines, helical gears, straight gears, um, basically on your turning center without having to change the process over to a different machine. Yeah, I'm sure it's just all one setup and that's key, right? No more relocating, no more just put it in, take out a finished part. That is correct, yes. Perfect. Uh, so then, WTO obviously has a lot of solutions, right? So you guys also have something for live broaching? Yes, so we do. Um, I was going to show you. <laughs> we, we don't have one here, but as you can see on the video on display there, I mean, we do have a broaching unit that's uh, able to do OD and ID um, splines. It could do torque shapes multiple different profiles, whatever is offered by the cutting tool manufacturer, we can do it with our unit. And there's probably a lot of, lot of benefits to live broaching, correct, as opposed to maybe static? Correct. I mean, less wear and tear on the machine, so you'll be putting all that wear and tear on the actual uh, driven tool holder that can be sent in for repair and, you know, less wear and damage to the machine. For sure. Yeah, a driven tool holder, I mean, that's probably pushing one-tenth the cost or more less of the machine tool, right? Better that, with the wear and that is correct. And I mean, it's something that can be, for for us, I would should say, and we have a service center down in Charlotte, North Carolina, where we can take care of the repair of the uh, driven tool holder for a very minimal cost compared to actually having to rebuild the machine. Yeah, right. Yeah, no one wants to be replacing ball screws or getting that extra backlash and losing accuracy in their machine. So, sounds like they pay for themselves. They do, they do. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so then, also, I was seeing on this uh, TV as we're talking here that you guys are doing something with Bluetooth? We do. So it's something that uh, the process started about six years ago uh, where we actually wanted to, you know, with the whole talks of uh, Industry 4.0, we wanted to come out with a solution that would be beneficial for, um, uh, for production facilities, for factory production facilities. Um, so the owner of WTO actually came up with this idea of a Bluetooth holder that was able to monitor um, the actual RPM at the spindle, vibration levels, um, and temperature of the housing. Makes it a lot more efficient for uh, companies that are doing larger production runs to be able to tell when to take that holder in and out of service. Yeah, so it's really just getting to that industry 4.0 side of things, that predictive maintenance. Correct. So, and I know I've seen them, and you said, you know, this has been in development for six years, so it's probably come along quite far. Um, I know that at one point it was battery driven, but now you guys are able to charge it on its own, right? Correct. So, uh, you know, the initial designs were battery operated. Still, it has a battery, um, but, you know, it has en energy harvesting where, you know, as you rotate that spindle, it's able to generate the, the um, uh, power needed to run that uh, the sensors. And all that. <laughs> That's awesome. WTO is really branching into that industry 4.0 aspect, really putting sensors and everything up. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Well, great to meet you, uh, hey. Lewis, and great talking. Thank you.